what is up guys in today's video you've probably seen it in the title already so i got my fuel bash plate out this is the factory one and um, collectively over the years i have made some dents so this one here one here one here and through there and this is the actually this this is the um worst of them all because it's actually touching the fuel tank and it's uh, rubbing the fuel tank over time so I just heat it up and straighten up ish straighten it ish a bit but before putting it back on I had the idea to reinforce it with plates so yeah cheap uh, reinforcement and uh, haven't tested it yet but yeah just sharing my idea on a factory one and if you're on a budget build and budget on a budget like me yeah this um, I had just had this um, cheap at our local sheet metal um, uh, store just around the corner from my work and yeah that's the plan um, but like that um, make it look flush and stuff but yeah see how it goes now I have to state that um, I am not a welder by trade, but I do have access of the MIG through work, which is awesome. Um, so I did a couple of practice bits first on a, a scrap piece before welding it to that one. And basically what I did was to sand down um, the contact points in it. And um, yeah, before welding. Radio guys, so I have. Um, stop because i have just welded the flattest um area on the tank because if you can see it right here this is actually lifting up so my plan is to um, heat it up and um, just um oh sorry um uh, fold it to place Ready out guys, so I just finished the center one. Um, I have now grinded this piece so that it will sit flush-ish <laughs> to the tank. And yeah, this one's wobbly again, so see how it goes. So same process as the first plate. Um, I have heated up this part and I just smack it into place closer to the plate and carry on welding it in. There you have it guys, um, yeah, I've um, drilled some holes so that it can still drain from water crossings and yeah, just about the welds, <laughs> yeah it's there, welds are there, um, like I said I am not a welder so um, yeah, how do you call it? If I if I can do it, then yeah, definitely you can. And this is just to share an idea, a cheap way of protecting your fuel tank. I'm going to paint this one and slap it in the truck, and that's it. Well, if you guys like this video, please don't forget to hit that like button. At the same time, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, guys. See ya.